Beautiful shot by Adam over there on our fancy camera. Welcome back to the show, everybody. Super Bowl is a week and a half away, and our next guests are getting you ready for the big game with a vegan treat. Come, uh, joining us from their Facebook cooking show, Keeping Up with Coco and Lala. Please welcome back to our show our good friends. There they are, Coco and Lala. Good morning, ladies. That that is let me that is the biggest football I've ever seen in my life. Exactly. Because we go big or we go home, and we're always gonna go big. Thank we're never you. gonna go home. I love it. Okay, <laughs> I'm turning this over to you guys. So we are making, I mean chili people make all the time, but you guys are gonna make for us vegan chili. Take it away, ladies. What are we doing? Yeah. So the reason why we want to make vegan chili is because we realize a lot of people are like okay, I gave up meat, I gave up dairy, can I still have chili? And the answer is absolutely. Yes. So we are sauteing up our garlic and our onions right now. As soon as those have a beautiful brown color, we're gonna add in our rinse and drain black beans. Yes. Now, I'm gonna tell you the secret, okay? But Jason, don't tell nobody. Okay. Don't tell nobody, between us. Okay, so add in your taco seasoning pack because I know a lot of people are like, okay, I gave up meat. How do I make it still have that hearty flavor that I know and love? Yes. Adding your favorite taco seasoning. Me personally, I love the Taco Bell taco seasoning. Lala has her favorite. Mine is Chi Chi's. <laughs> whatever floats your boat. Your boat. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you like the, the Chi Chi's. Chi Chi, uh, do they, they still make the seasoning? Chi Chi's hasn't been open since like 98. Yes, it is very hard to find. And when I find it, I buy 10 at a time. They're it's so amazing. She's going big or going home. That's right. So toss in a few more seasonings. So I'm throwing in some smoked paprika, a little bit of garlic. I like my chili hot, so I'm adding in some chipotle pepper. I know up here up north, some people don't really like hot, so don't use that. And then I'm also adding in some onion powder. You're gonna add in your favorite sauce. Which and is guess what? Just that quick, tomato sauce. That's like pasta sauce. Just that quick, this is done. Now we're gonna show you three quick ways that you can Amazing. eat this if you wanna Helping it up, okay? Yes. Okay. So, tip number one. Tip number one, you're gonna put it on a street taco. Yes! Who doesn't want street tacos? Or you can do just chili with Frito chips. You gotta have to dip that stuff, right? Or yes. if you really wanna help it up, Jason, you can do it on a lettuce wrap. All three of these for the big game Really, I can't wait right to see here. the bowl. And one of our favorite toppings, Jason, is sweet potatoes. Have you ever had sweet potatoes with your chili? I have not. Do you so? Do you mix it in, or do you put it on top? How do you serve that? It's a it's a topping. You're gonna use that. We're gonna have we have vegan cheese, yes. sweet potato, tomato, jalapeno. What do you call these? Chives. Yep. Chives. <laughs> Whatever else you want. La I love. I love you. Lala's like, what is Lala this? Lala does not know what she be saying no, sometimes. I love it. Like, Lala's, what is this? Lala looks at Coco. What vegetable is this? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> While we're helping it up, we just want people to know that um, although big game type foods, Super Bowl foods, are not always the healthiest, you can always add a healthy element yes. to it. Uh, we're also going to top it with one of our favorite uh, vegan sour creams. I have heard that uh, when I, you know, secretly tried it on people without their knowing, it that insane. it tastes better than the regular dairy. I'm ready to eat for the big game. So, okay, I'm adding in my sweet potatoes, which actually add a hint of sweetness, so I love it. I'm adding in my tomatoes and my um, my onions. Yeah, here. my green onions. Have mine. I All right, you ready? Okay. Cheers. Cheers, Jason, Cheers. to the big game. You guys enjoy. I got it. Ladies, I got to tell you, I, you guys know this. I, I, am a, I am a carnivore, but the one thing I consistently eat that is vegan is vegan chili. And I notice, like, there is no quality difference. I notice no difference. I eat it as much, if not more, than regular chili, and I love it. Yes, awesome. absolutely. So glad to hear that, Jason. One, one step at a time. I'm trying, ladies. I'm trying. 
good. I gotta You're do baby stepping. I love it. You're helping it up. Yes. I got to do, but no, seriously, I got to do that sweet potato, that sweet potato idea because I, it's amazing. that is, I never thought of mixing those two together. And even if it is a little hot, the sweet potato would help balance that out. It, it, balances, it does help so balance good. it. That sweetness is so awesome, Jason. It literally, like, it makes you question why you've never done that before. Yes. Yes. As I have. Well, all over my face. <laughs> Coco and Lala, thank you, ladies. Guys, go support them. Check out their cooking show on Facebook. And for more information, head to realcocoandlala.com. I'll give a little shout out. The, the vegan chili that I eat is from, uh, I get it from uh, Whole Foods. It is really good. I don't know what they put in it, but the spices are good, and I don't miss it at all. It's really tasty.